this video will help you explore the idea of geometric sequence. Now remember, a sequence is a list of numbers, and there doesn't have to be even any special pattern to the numbers, but a geometric sequence has a specific pattern. Now let's start with example A, that is 2 comma 6 comma 18 comma 54 comma blank blank blank. Now this is obviously a list of numbers, a sequence, but if you look at it a little bit more carefully you'll realize that there's a pattern here. If you start with 2 and the next term is 6, you realize that one way to make a connection between those is to multiply by 3. 6 to 18 follows the same pattern. Take 6, multiply it by 3, get 18. Take 18, multiply it by 3, get 54. Now, if you continue the pattern, sure, you can fill in the rest of the numbers, so let's do that. 54 times 3, 54 times 3, 162, 162 times 3, 486, and finally 486 times 3, 1458. So we've completed this geometric sequence through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. Now notice that if you take any two terms, let's say 18 and 54, uh, the two terms have to be adjacent, however, and you take the latter term, 54, divide by the earlier term, 18, you get a number, in this case, 3, and that number which you get by taking a later term divided by the immediately prior term, that is called the common ratio. So, for this first example, the common ratio is 3. It's the number that you multiply a previous term by to get the next term. Now, moving on to the second example, it starts out blank, blank, 1,500, 250, blank. Now, the directions say that this is a geometric sequence, so that must mean we can use the same idea we talked about in the previous example. Take two adjacent terms, take the later term, 500, divide by the earlier term, 1000, and get a result. That result is, in this case, 1 half. And what that means is, 1 half is the number that you multiply by each time to create the next term. It's called the common ratio. 1,000 times 1 half is 500. 500 times 1 half is 250. 250 times 1 half, the next term will be 125. And every time you move to the right, you multiply by 1 half. Moving to the left, you'd be dividing by 1 half to create the previous term. So that would make 2,000 and 4,000. And you can check out the pattern from the start to make sure it works. 4,000 times 1 half is 2,000. 2,000 times 1 half is 1,000, etc., etc., etc. And just to make sure you understand, the name for this common ratio, or rather the variable that's usually used to describe common ratio, is R. Let's move on to the next example. C. Blank, 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 10, blank, 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 810. Now, there's a lot missing here. 
so to get from 10 to the term immediately to the right of 10 you would have to multiply by r once to get to the very next term you'd have to multiply by r again to get to the next missing term you'd have to multiply by r again and finally to get to 810 you'd multiply by r again so what we've just realized then is that starting at 10 and multiplying by r four times in a row means 10 times r to the fourth equals 810 now solving for r immediately r to the fourth is 810 over 10 or 81 which means r to the fourth equals 81 now there are actually four solutions to this equation but we're going to go with the easiest one r equals 3 now let's go back up and fill in the terms with r equaling 3 10 times r 30 30 times r which is 3 90 90 times 3 270 270 times 3 810 so working to the right each time we multiply by 3 working to the left you'd have to each time divide by 3 so 10 thirds 10 ninths and 10 twenty sevenths and you can always check things out by starting at the beginning and in each case multiplying by 3 to get the term immediately to the right.